Hello, this is not uh, the real Nerf Red Hood. This is uh, Retro, uh, just coming off of a quick shoot of that uh, new uh, Little Caesars Calzone uh, Pizza for the Batman um, movie that's coming out. Um, quick announcements, um, I'm going to be doing mostly Nerf news going forward. I'll put that in the chapters down below. Uh, just want to give my quick thoughts on basically the marketing campaign so far for that and my plans for any retro reviews uh, leading up to that uh, next month release for the Batman. Um, kind of torn. On the one hand, I want to do some unfinished business with uh, retro Batman reviews that I missed out, like a certain Catwoman uh, review. Or um, I'm kind of in, in a bind to do, um, I guess, the Twilight series. Uh, keep in mind, I probably won't be doing every single movie in time because I believe the last movie was in two parts, kind of like Harry Potter. So that will probably be the only hopefully double review out of all five movies. So I don't know, I'll probably put an Instagram poll uh, in my socials to see what you guys think of either way. Uh, as far as future reviews go. So, uh, announcements out of the way, I just want to get my quick thoughts of the uh, Nerf Blaster that Welcome expressed. Uh, I think it was called the Medusa. It was a, uh, it was a very nice uh, maker-made uh, blaster with 3D printer files and stuff like that. Uh, for those who do not know, uh, 3D printed homemade blasters have been a thing for the last couple of years. And lately there has been a new shift into Spring Thunder, I guess 2.0 I want to call it. Uh, style blasters of like going into the Winchester side of things. Um, for the best version of it by default now is uh, I forgot the exact name of it. I think it's just a Winchester. Uh, if I got the name right, uh, Lord Dragon. Uh, I think Walcom did videos of that, so I'll leave those cards above as well. Um, as for the uh, Medusa, yeah, this particular maker, I won't name his, I won't name names or put his uh, buy link to any of his uh, stuff down below because guy's kind of transphobic. Yeah, I'm just gonna get that out of the way. Uh, he's kind of an ass in that kind of department. And I will be leaving, uh, hopefully, uh, Walcom's video explaining the situation. I left a very uh, very positive link, uh, sorry, positive comment in his uh, comment section. Please like that if you want. Uh, I won't tell you what to do. Uh, basically telling him that he did the right thing to take down the video and is taking any of the proceeds of the ad revenue to the Trevor Project. That also being said, I'm going to leave a link down below the Trevor Project as well, discussing this video, because I do believe you guys have a right to, you know, do that kind of style of uh, promotion and it is a really worthy cause because suicide prevention needs to still be a thing and transfers as i said in my comment is and forever always will be should have been and will always still be human rights so on to what i've been seeing so far with the discord on Walcom's discord which i am also a part of i'm not a moderator i'm just a casual fan of the discord like anybody else uh what they've been noticing so far at the end of a uh, Walcom's video he's been wanting to either two things um, as of late. He wants to either destroy the blaster in solidarity of how much this guy was a piece of shit, or what the community's been currently doing, and I think Walcom might be getting as a, as the upcoming video, hopefully to respond and end this beef once and for all, is put it in LGBTQ plus colors. Um, that would actually be cool. I have a few ideas myself about that. Um, I think put the uh, bi or trans uh, just colors all over the body of the blaster, um, demisex and any other orientations I'm clearly not going to understand, uh, car carrying straight ally, just letting you know right in advance. Uh, again, your models may vary where you want to be with the color scheme when it comes to, comes to this blaster. I think someone in the Discord also mentioned it should be given to a nerf uh, creator uh, and a nerf tuber in the uh, LGBTQ, LGBTQ plus uh, space, and that makes more sense than anything in the world. It would definitely make that guy spurg out more than usual. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I want to leave it there. Ultimately, um, I hope the blaster gets its due as far as, uh, obvious justice goes. Now, that all being said, for the maker himself, uh, no, there will be no buy link for his crap down below. Again, I will be leaving Walcom's video to explain the situation, and he'll probably explain a lot better than I just did for this amount of time. So, that all being said, uh, hope, sorry for the quick news. Um, this is probably going to come out on Monday, and, um, yeah, uh, you'll probably see either of the, uh, review plans I have uh, going forward. Um, last update, um, Vox Machina is definitely doing three episode chunks out a week, so that might also be another reason to get Jason down uh, into these uh, reviews as quickly as I can. And uh, last up, I will definitely be doing, um, I guess as a panic option in case this is getting a little too spicy uh, for me talking about this, uh, is my uh, finally long overdue uh, Cobra Kai Season 4. Uh, full disclosure, not spoilers wise, it's amazing. Terry Silver did great. I'm going to do, talk more about that the more I get to it. So before this gets to that and any other videos get inevitably delayed, 
I am Richard Care if you use another the end card to what I hope to God you listened as far as like a news roundup goes for this weekend. Uh, first hand here to my shorts playlist uh, for me. He's totally not celebrating uh, Tom Brady's uh, retirement. Other hand here to my previous review, speaking of, he's also Hans Makata. And I'm very happy to say that you creditors definitely showed up to help me out on my video. Thank you so much for the reviews. I cannot uh, be any more happy to be part of this fan base now. Um, I'm currently uh, digging through most of the past one shot uh, campaigns and stuff like that. Uh, the best ones I've seen so far is Vox Machina versus my Yen, uh, my Nine. Uh, again, my apologies, I got the second campaign's cruise name wrong. Uh, I'm still new to this hobby, as just let you know right now. But the Blunder Games was awesome. And, and if anyone told me that Will Fordell was going to be in this, and Matthew Leonard, I think, in uh, last week's uh, stream, holy shit. Uh, yeah, it's it, uh, the, uh, Critical Role definitely knows how, how to get some celebrities out here. And that's awesome. I'm going to be honest with you guys there. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, Jason's gear here to sub down below. Notifications in case anything changes within these uh, updates and news. And with that all being said, I am uh, a in-between character as Retro Care, Retro Care Reviews. Uh, hoping that you guys understand the situation with the Retro News Roundup. So that all being said, take care, subscribe, and... Yeah, uh, I guess burning that blaster is a bad idea, you know, with, uh, toxic, uh, plastic and stuff like that. I mean, the comment section is toxic enough as it is. Again, excerpts from the Discord. They are, they are very salty in a very positive way. Seriously, welcome. You did the right thing, and thank you. Seriously.